Down to Nashville, Brian Dable right there, the Giants' new head coach, looking for his first win. It starts right here, fourth quarter, Giants down 20 to 13, and Daniel Jones finds Chris Myrick for the one-yard touchdown, his second Go for career two, even touchdown. Go for two! Dable said we want to be aggressive, and he's living up to it. Daniel Jones shovels it to Saquon Barkley. Whoop! He is in the end zone! Two-point conversion, and he is fired up. He is back. 18 carries, 164 yards, and 30 yards receiving. Randy Bullock on for the Titans for the potential game-winning field goal. But it is wide left. No good. Giants win 21-20. to Brian Dable gets his first win as a Giants head coach. Those FDNY hats looked fantastic yeah, cool. on everybody yesterday, and Brian Dable was so fired up. That scene of him hugging Saquon Barkley was really special. The Giants, though, could they be special? I think they can. The Giants have lost that exact game that they played yesterday like 10 times in the last few <laughs> yeah. years. The exact game. Um, Dable wasn't going to leave it up for chance, and going for two was symbolic of so much more as as a coach and what you're about, then just like, here's a gutsy decision, let's get a win. It was like, we're not gonna leave anything up to chance. We are going to just do this on our terms. We're gonna make it happen. So they get the touchdown here. You're on the road against a team that's been struggling on offense the last few drives. Like, conventional wisdom is take the extra point, take it to overtime. You're coming back from 13 nothing. They run this little shovel pass, Whoa. and Saquon has to break a couple tackles. Um, Dayball, after the game, was dancing to Juicy by Notorious B.I.G. in the Ooh, locker room. Classic. Getting after it, dancing, having a field day. Like, yeah. everything is feeling right. And, and Dayball going for two there, I, I almost think that was, like, intentional and deliberate to the fans, too. Like, this is going to be different. And I don't know if they win a Super Bowl here. Honestly, I don't know if this is that team. But they were down 13 nothing, came all the way back. I couldn't be happier for that guy, but also the New York fans who have a happy moment to wake up to this morning based mm -hmm. on so many years of losing that exact same game. The, the exact point you just made, you felt like they've lost that game 10 times. And as I'm watching this game, it gets into the fourth quarter, and Daniel Jones throws an interception. Yep. And for a team that has lost these type of games, your mind starts to wonder, like, oh, here we go, here we go again. Yeah, We're right in it, but we find a way to lose it in the fourth quarter. But the Giants responded. He throws this interception. The defense goes out there and gets off the field on third down. Titans hand it off to the tight end with Derrick Henry in the backfield, but that's for a whole nother discussion. <laughs> and then they go out there, hand the ball Woo! off to Saquon, go! and Saquon was just doing Saquon things. Takes the ball all the way down the field. Daniel Jones had a fourth and one bootleg where he picks up the first down. Gone. They just made the key plays late in the game. Peter, you showed the touchdown pass to Chris Myrick. This Giants team was able to overcome adversity, and for a young team figuring out how to win, those games go a long way when you're used to being on the other side of it. So I was impressed by their ability to withstand and keep it going. Mm -hmm. That was such a beautiful run by Saquon Barkley. It was like a bottle of what everything we've wanted for him in a really challenging last couple years for him. 164 yards on the ground. That is the most in three years for him. And we have just been waiting. And this just looks spectacular. It looks how he's supposed to be running. He also caught the ball six times for another 30 yards. I mean, this is fantastic. This is exactly what Daniel Jones needed in this situation. He needed somebody to pick him up when things maybe started to wear you a little go. bit. But Saquon, just go, my man. Just go. You know, the Giants were on Kyle's Nobody Loves Us list, and today everybody loves you. Everyone's happy for you. It's Saquon, just a beautiful runner, yes. beautiful man. It's just everything about it is gorgeous. I got the New York Post here, and th these, these people have, like, made a living just bashing the Giants, and they should have. <laughs> I'm not even going to read the headline because it's a little blue, but it has to do with a certain part of Brian Dable's anatomy being made of steel. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we talk about culture. We're going to change the culture. <laughs> We're going to put up a big sign that says grit <laughs> and a big sign that says attitude. It's not about any of that nonsense. You know what it's about? You punch in the touchdown and you go like that. Yep. You go like that. Mm. Two. We're going to two. We're going to get to our best player. Because if they didn't get that, who cares? You still went for it. Screw it. You went for it and you trusted your guys, yeah. but they did get it. And Peter is so right. 50 games exactly like that exactly they would have like blown it. under Judge, under McAdoo, under Shermer. Not under the uh, Dave Balls of Steel, which I just said. That's the headline. <laughs> I love it. Love I'm not going to hold it up for the visual. That's what he yeah, says, though. I like it. G-Man, let's go. Let's go.